The Wolfpack have found their new leader and he's no stranger to Reno. Hi everyone, I'm Bridget Howard here inside the Mountain West Network studio with what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the Nevada Wolfpack. Ken Wilson returns to Reno to take over a Nevada team that finished eight and five last season, including five and three in Mountain West action. Wilson previously spent 19 years on the Wolfpack staff, which included five seasons as associate head coach and four as defensive coordinator. It was a chance for me to come back. My wife's a graduate of Nevada. My son played there. My son graduated from there. We've got a grandbaby on the way in Reno. Like there was a lot of lot of things. Uh, the least, or uh, to say the least, to be the head football coach, have a chance to win a lot of football games was was just too good to pass up. Having Coach Wilson come in and the staff that he brought in, um, it's, it's really easy to buy into what they're what they're coaching us. The rushing attack will have their star back with Toa Tawa returning for his fifth season in Reno. Over his career, the two-time All-Mountain West selection has rushed for 3,086 yards and 21 touchdowns, while also proving to be a threat in the air, recording 122 catches for 897 yards and three touchdowns. I feel like we both um, mimic each other's game. So um, when everyone thinks I'm just also a bruiser, um, I feel like that is what helps me when I can make a move on somebody. And when they think, oh, he's just so shifty, when he needs to put his shoulder down on somebody, I feel like that helps him. So I feel like us just piggybacking on each other's game and just seeing what we can do to improve each other. And I feel like that's what makes us good as a pair. I am, I'm just impressed with Toe and Devontae every time I go on the practice field. The swagger, the toughness, the confidence they play with, the leadership that they have, the size of them. I mean, those two guys could play anywhere, and, and they stayed with me, and I had meetings with them right after I got, uh, got the job, and they never wavered. Dom Peterson's force and experience on the D-line will be relied upon heavily this season, with just four starters returning on defense for the pack. Peterson has 46 career games under his belt and ranks top five in program history with 22 career sacks and 41 and a half tackles for loss. He's an animal. I haven't seen anything like it. It's crazy. He has a motor like no other. His mindset is different. He comes out to practice and he knows he's the best. He wants you to know he's the best. I mean, he made me, as a player and as an athlete, grow and take my game to a higher level than I could ever imagine just because when he comes out, he wants to compete, and he brings the competitor out of me. He's powerful, you know, he's got a great personality, he's tough, he practices hard all the time, he's always got a smile on his face, and, you know, guys that love to play the game of football are so easy to coach and develop, and, you know, you see him on the field, and the first thing he does is a smile comes across his face, and, and you know it's just going to be there for a second. You know, he's just, he's going to smile, and then he's going to be right back to work, and, and I love that about him. Nevada starts off the season with a trip to New Mexico State and rounds out its non-conference slate with Texas State, Incarnate Ward, and a visit to Iowa before the first Mountain West matchup of the season at Air Force. It's definitely going to be the start of something great. And you know, when we hit that field against Texas State, you know, it's gonna be a big it's gonna be a big statement and I feel like, you know, our main focus right now is New Mexico week zero, but you know, when we come back to Mackey, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time. But for us to start away, especially with this coaching staff, it's gonna be a real test and I feel like the guys are taking it on the chin first and I feel like it's gonna be some good football to be played. And I feel like we're gonna set the tone early with that game. It's always exciting when you've got a new quarterback, and Shane Illingworth is a transfer from Oklahoma State to Nevada. Illingworth played in eight games, went 3-0 as a starter with the Oklahoma State Cowboys. He's got a big arm. He's 6'6". He's got experience in the Big 12. He could be a real factor for Nevada's offense this year as the quarterback. Also, Tyson Williams coming back for his fifth year. He's a safety. Tyson Williams has six career interceptions, including three a season ago. He returned an interception, 49 yards for a touchdown against UNLV. He's a great leader on the defensive secondary for Nevada. Nevada opens up the 2022 season at New Mexico State on Saturday, August 27th. From the Mountain West Network studio, I'm Bridget Howard.